We are here. We're here with Sound Devices. We got Paul here. From, hey, remember him from South by Southwest? Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna we're good buddies. There you good go. buddies. NAB 2018. We're gonna talk about the new partnership that Sound Devices has, and we're gonna do that next. All right, we're here with Paul and Sound Devices. Of course, we were at South by Southwest. I recorded one of my songs on your mix pre. We've got it the did. mix pre six. It right went here. viral. It did go viral. I guess that's more than three people, and that it's one, two, and three. Yep. So that's three people. Anyway, I liked uh, it. I, it was it was a lot of fun. I, I enjoyed it. I, I love the fact that that you could do it on the fly. But now you, you know, you're here at NAB. Of course, we're we we got to get a little bit more professional on these oh, yeah. things. Get the tile. <laughs> anyway, uh, you you made a partnership. Uh, you announced a partnership. Tell us a little bit about that. So yeah, we're part of the Sennheiser Ambio Alliance. And what that means is that we can now support this wonderful Sennheiser Ambio mic and Ambisonics in general, actually. Okay. So what that means is um, what we're showing here at this trade show is a new beta firmware. The actual official uh, firmware will be released this summer. Okay. Um, but it basically allows you to take um, Ambisonics A format and record that as either A format, B format, um, onto the actual device itself. And at the same time, while it, in real time you can monitor that signal as left right stereo or incredibly in binaural in real time really yeah and that's really cool because now you can while capturing this um, um, ambisonics on set you can actually make creative decisions while you're capturing that surround that surround material. Okay. Now, you haven't been able to do that before. Would you? Would uh, you need like a special set of headphones? To, no, to binaural hear? will work with any headphones. Oh, That's see, you have the cable, and it looks like the cable then splits off into two, so I, I, or four. So it looks like you need multiple channels. On, right. So on yeah, let's that. explain a little bit about how okay. Ambisonics works. The, the Sennheiser Ambio mic is an A outputs A format Ambisonics, and basically what that means is it's just taking the the, the signal directly from these four capsules. Now Ambisonics A format microphones use this tetrahedral layout of the four mic capsules yeah and this tetrahedral layout al allows you to capture the full sphere of sound okay right it's speaker agnostic and what that means is that if we can capture the whole sphere of sound we can make the decision of what speaker array we want to deliver it to in post-production at a later stage okay. so we can make we can take this signal and then decide to deliver it as stereo 5.1, 7.1, or any, or any other speaker layout we like, and outputs that in A format ambisonics. So that requires four channels. Now the Mix Pre 6 is ideal for this because it's got four XLR inputs. There you go. And we can supply Phantom. The Mic Pre's on this are the best in the market. Got great analog limiters as well. So if, even if someone screams into this baby or a truck drives past, we can get great sound without any digital distortion. Okay. Okay. The most common. Um, Ambisonics format used in post-production is actually something called B format. So we also can convert it to B format, and that converts the A format raw um, capsule signals into W, X, Y, and Z channels. Okay. W represents like a, a mono of all the capsules. Yeah. Um, your X signal represents the forward and the rear signal. Your Y signal represents the left-right signal, and the Z Z represents the up-down signal. That's what we convert to this W, X, Y, Z and that's called B format. And we actually support the two standards for B format in here as well, FUMA and Ambix. There's two FUMA, standards. FUMA and Ambix. Yeah, okay. we support both. Whilst we're recording or setting this up, we can monitor and decode that those signals to left, right stereo in real time. So you're wow. hearing everything in real time. That is awesome. But the totally unique feature, because there are other manufacturers who can do this, but they don't offer the ability to monitor this in real time binaurally. Okay. And that really gives you the ability to make some really good creative decisions on set. Yeah. So that's plus, an overview of that. Plus learning everything about the Mix Pre that I did at South by Southwest with the ability to control via the iPad app with the, uh, with the, with the battery uh, option. You could literally be in the middle of the ocean and want to record the whales. Absolutely. And you, you have this microphone sitting in the middle of the boat and you hit the record button and go from there. You have a, your favorite band you want, to, you want to record or favorite event you want to record uh, or you just Or you're a podcaster your or a podcaster. YouTuber, videographer. Yeah, I mean, these tools are great. It's I mean, awesome. the Mix Pre 6 is obviously one of the uh, um, 
family members of the Mix Pre series. Yep. There's the Mix Pre 3, which has got um, it's a little bit smaller than this, it only has three XLR inputs instead of four. And then we have the Mix Pre 10T, which is the eight input, 12 track recorder, and a 10M as well, which you recorded on the other day. And how much did that weigh? I forgot. <laughs> <You> forgot. <laughs> two pounds. It was two pounds, it was wasn't two it? Two pounds, there yes, you go. yes, yes. <laughs> So. You've got a better memory than I have. <laughs> All so right, this so. will be available this summer, and it will be a free upgrade, free firmware update. Okay, so it's a firmware yep. update. Okay, perfect. And it will be available on the Mix Pre 6 and the Mix Pre 10T. I, I think this is around the 1500 mark. Uh, Maybe a bit we'll, we'll have, to, we'll have to check, but of course that's not your area. Your area is the Mix Pre. What's the yep. price on the Mix Pre? Mix 6? Pre is 899. 899 dollars. Yep. Yep. And you can get that. You can get that now, right? Yeah, it's been out on the market for and a long time. In fact, you know we've. We're, another part of the show is announcing our new version 2.10 firmware for the Mix Pre 6, which yeah. is actually coming out this week. Okay. And this is a free firmware update as well. And this adds some really nice features. We're adding Remix. Um, so that means you can record um, a multi channel take. And then if you had one actor too loud, or one contributor too loud, or too low, or there's a rustling noise on a as I'm doing right now with this lapel mic, oh, yeah. a rustling noise on the lapel mic, you could basically play back that file and using the faders make a new mix and adjust the levels there and then re-record that as a new file. The remix feature is really cool for that reason. It's a unique feature on any field recorder. The second really nice thing is we added cue points. So during record or playback, you can now actually add a cue point at any point of interest, okay. of which will be very few in this particular interview. Yeah. Um, but um, and then once you've got those cue points, you can very quickly locate to them by, uh, and sort of find the, those points. You can then, then name those cue ma marks. You can delete them. You can move them if they were slightly off. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, where do people go for more information? Uh, our website, which is www.sounddevices.com. Sound device. Yeah. And video devices. And there's video devices. Yeah. But you can link to either site from. From the website. From back and yeah. forth. So. All right. Well, All thank right. you very much for your time, Paul. Thank you. You got the nice little Sennheiser right here. You got the Mix Pre 6. Go make your binaural, but go make your, your your super viral audio and video. VR. Cool VR. 360 audio. Uh, audio, yeah. 360 audio. And uh, tell us what you got by going over to geekazine.com or uh, Twitter me over at geekazine and let me know what uh, what's out there. So anyway, Jeffrey Power is with Geekazine. You can go over to youtube.com forward slash Geekazine. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment down in the show notes. The little notification bell will tell you when the next video comes out. Thanks again to Paul and Sound Devices and NAB 2018. We've got a lot more videos, so check it all out. And until then, you guys geek out. And watch the other video. <laughs>